This coffee shop recently experimented with a new AI feature to gauge productivity. The results were so astonishing that they could revolutionize our work habits very soon, in both exciting and somewhat unsettling ways. Stay with us to uncover the how and why, and prepare for the future, because everything is about to change. Imagine waking up tomorrow, going through your usual morning routine, gearing up for work. But when you arrive, you are informed that there's a twist. Every gesture, every move, every step you take is under the watchful eye of an AI monitoring system. Thinking of catching up with your colleague about last night's football game. Think again, because even that casual chat is now logged and reported by the AI system. While this might sound like something straight out of a dystopian novel or a sci-fi thriller, it's rapidly approaching our reality. But what would prompt businesses to adopt such a seemingly intrusive system? The answer lies in the transformative results. Business owners who've tested AI productivity monitoring systems have been astounded by the outcomes. They attest that the insights and recommendations provided by the AI dramatically elevated their business profitability in numerous ways. The bottom line? Once one company in your vicinity adopts this system, rival businesses may feel compelled to follow suit, lest they risk being left in the dust. Returning to our coffee shop scenario, it provides a microcosm of the potential benefits and pitfalls of AI productivity monitoring. By delving into the results, we can gain an understanding of how even a quaint cafe can leverage this technology to their advantage while also recognizing the potential downsides. At the heart of this AI analysis is a detailed breakdown of consumer behavior at our local coffee shop. The system highlighted that during business hours, the typical customer who chooses to sit indoors spends approximately 25 minutes enjoying their drink, likely a standard latte or espresso, often consumed during a work break. Intriguingly, about out four of these customers also order food, naturally boosting the shop's profitability per visitor. However, the insights don't end there. Those customers who walk in with laptops typically linger for up to three times longer, often consuming just one coffee over their extended stay. What's more, these laptop-toting patrons rarely order food, perhaps due to limited table space or a lack of interest. To address this, the AI system's recommendation was rather ingenious. During peak hours when the cafe operates at near 100 capacity, display AI reserved sign on unoccupied seats. This sign would only be removed for customers without laptops. While this might seem like a subtle shift, its implications are profound. Over a span of the eight peak hours each day, this tactic could lead to an additional 30 coffees and between four to six food plates sold. To put this into perspective over a month, that's a potential increase of 660 coffees and 110 food plates from just a single table. While the AI's data-driven approach might seem irresistible to business owners, there lies a significant flaw in such measures that could jeopardize the very essence of the coffee shop. Implementing such a measure based solely on AI recommendations without considering the human and community aspects could be detrimental. Local cafes and coffee shops thrive not just because of the products they sell, but also due to the atmosphere and community they foster. By potentially alienating a segment of their clientele, in this case, those with laptops who might be freelancers, students, or remote workers, the coffee shop risks losing not just those customers, but also their friends, followers, and the word-of-mouth recommendations they could provide. Plus, these individuals might turn to social media or review sites to express their dissatisfaction, leading to a potential PR crisis for the cafe. An AI might provide the numbers, but it's essential to weigh those against the qualitative, human side of doing business. Turning our attention to measuring worker productivity, it's evident that this has ignited quite a debate. On one hand, this technology offers undeniable benefits. For business owners, it can provide insights into operational efficiencies, and for diligent employees, it ensures their hard work doesn't go unrecognized. On the flip side, there are very real worries about how such technology might be misused or misinterpreted. An immediate benefit for workers is clear. Their efforts are documented, making it nearly impossible for supervisors to overlook their diligence. Haven't we all, at some point, felt that despite giving our best at work, 
our contributions went unrecognized by those in charge or witnessed someone less deserving getting that promotion or pay hike. This technology promises a level playing field, ensuring everyone's efforts are acknowledged. However, there's a flip side. Concerns abound that certain managers or business owners may use this technology chiefly as a tool to reprimand without fairly rewarding those who truly put in the hard work. Among the myriad concerns is the potential misuse of this technology, particularly with regards to biased data being used as justification to penalize or even terminate employees. Consider this, you've consistently given your best at work for years. Yet, due to unforeseen personal challenges, there's a temporary dip in your performance. We're all human. We all face challenging phases where just showing up to work can be a Herculean task. Yet, despite your long-standing dedication, a manager might exploit a short-term dip in your performance, using this data out of context to penalize or even dismiss you. As we stand on the precipice of this new era, it's essential that we approach such tools with a balanced perspective, recognizing their potential benefits while also being acutely aware of their potential pitfalls. It's not the technology itself, but how we choose to use it that will define its legacy. Let's hope that in our pursuit of efficiency, we never forget the human element that makes every workplace unique. Thank you for joining us on this exploration, and as always, we invite you to share your thoughts and engage in this vital discussion. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video. Until next time, stay informed and stay curious.